Hey guys, Julian here. Today I thought I'd make a little video about this thing. This is an inflatable collar for your PWC. Every time I post a picture or a video online using this thing, I get a lot of questions. What it is, what does it do, how much it costs, how do you install it? So I thought I'd make this little video uh, to go through the reasons why you would want to use an inflatable collar on your PWC, how to install it, and what it does. So uh, let's have a look together. First and foremost, you look at this and it looks like a Zodiac boat and a PWC had a baby and this is the result. And it's basically what it is. You're bringing all the advantages of having a rib style inflatable boat into the PWC world. Um, this machine is a CDU GTX already one of the most stable machine on the market right now. When you add a collar onto it, it becomes extremely stable. You can bring more people on the vessel, you can bring more gear, which in the case of like big wave surfing or hydrofoiling or, or even like fishing, this is very important because sometimes you bring so much gear onto your PWC, having the collar makes it very stable. Even if you're three people on the vessel, you'll be very comfortable and you'll feel confident that the PWC will not flip. You are starting to see a lot more big wave surfers that use PWC for tow surfing or rescue um, to use collars on their PWC. In the big wave environment or when you have to navigate your PWC in heavy white water or whitewash, it makes your vessel so much more stable in those environments. So uh, you're starting to see a lot more people using PWC in harsh environment using the inflatable collar. When you order a ride engine inflatable collar like this, you basically have to 3D scan your vessel at home. People of Ride Engine will help you with that. There's like a free app, it's actually very easy. And then after that, their engineer will take your 3D scan and create a custom collar for your particular vessel. There's so many models of PWC out there that it's very important that the collar is made custom for your personal vessel. Uh, they'll help you to go through that process Process, it's actually very easy. One thing important to note, when you do the installation of the collar at home, you'll have to remove a couple parts from your PWC. For example, here we have a Sea-Doo. I had to remove the front bumper and the railing. It's the same for Yamaha and Kawasaki. Basically, you're going to connect the collar directly onto the holes. You'll have to drill a couple uh, holes to put bolts but after if you want to remove it so you take the collar off and you can put back the bumper and the railing and it leaves no mark on your uh, vessel in the future if you want to resell it so basically that's what i like about it is that you install it and then after you can just place the bumper and the railing back on and it's like if it was never there Installing the collar is uh, fairly easy and it's actually a fun project, but it's good to have a friend to help you. Basically what you're going to do first is remove the bumper, remove the railing, and then after that you're going to have these plates that are included with the collar and these will basically be bolted onto the vessel and actually press uh, the collar in between the plate and the vessel and this is what is going to hold the collar in place. When you install these you do have to drill small holes into the side railing of your vessel so it's very important to take your time and uh, have a friend to help you. You obviously do that when the collar is deflated so it's a lot easier to go underneath and just take your time and uh, install all of these plates all along on one side first and then you do the other side and at the end you inflate it and the result is actually outstanding. Standing. 